everyone. Hi. Hello, hello, Jenny. Hi, Jenny, your microphone. Hello, hello teacher. <laughs> How are you today? And you? You are very good. good. And you? Very good. Excellent. <laughs> nice to have you here. Great. Thank you so much. Hello, Angel. Hi. Good evening. How are you today? I'm okay. Excellent. Nice to have you here. Hello, Sulema. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. And you, teacher? I am okay also. Thank you so much. Great. <clears throat> nice to have you here. Hello, Caro. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm tired. <laughs> yes, I know. But <laughs> we are about, okay, <laughs> to rest. It is almost Friday, okay? <laughs> nice. Okay. Excellent. Let's see. How are you today, Andreina? Hi, teacher. I'm great. And you? I am also happy to be here. Thank you for being here. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much. Let's see. Carla Raquel. Hello. Carla Raquel. Hello. How are you today? Your microphone. <laughs> nice teacher. Excellent. Excellent. I'm happy to have you here one more time. Thank you so much. Hi, Adri. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Very tired. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Pero ya casi es viernes, okay? Ya casi. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Adri. Hi. Karen, Selena. Hello. Teacher, good evening. How are you doing today? I am tired, but I am happy. <laughs> Excellent. That's the attitude, right? Tired, but happy. Excellent. Hi, Adrian. Erasmo. Hi, teacher. <gasps> What's going on? How are you today? Tired, but happy. I'm so happy. Okay. Tired but happy. Excellent. Okay. Thank you for being here. Let's see the last one that we have right here. Nancy, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today, Nancy? Good night. Good? Good night. <laughs> Good night. You are going to sleep. Ya se va a dormir. Ya. Oh, ah. <laughs> okay. So good night. <laughs> okay, so guys, we are ready to start with the class, okay? Vamos a empezar con la clase y el día de ahora tengo esta dinámica que se llama en español adivina quién. En inglés le decimos guess who, okay? Guess who. ¿En qué consiste el juego? Se dan cuenta aquí tenemos varios personajes. Entonces... Yo voy a escoger uno, no le voy a decir cuál es mi personaje, pero ustedes me van a hacer preguntas para adivinar mi personaje. Preguntas como cuáles. Pueden ser, is a girl or a boy? Is he or she wearing glasses? Is he or she wearing a hat? Ok. Preguntas ocupando el presente continuo. O también pueden ocupar adjetivos, ¿ok? Entonces, de eso, ahorita eso vamos a hacer. Voy a empezar yo a escoger un personaje y ustedes me van a hacer preguntas hasta que adivinen mi personaje, ¿ok? So, let's begin. Ok, I have my character. So, ¿quién quiere empezar a hacerme la primera pregunta? Do I have a volunteer or do I have to choose? Me. Go ahead, please, Andreina. Uh, it's a girl. Yes, it's a girl. Entonces, vamos a tachar a todos los niños. Ok. Chicos, ustedes en su, en su pantalla, donde sale el micrófono, la cámara, dice seguridad, hasta casi el final, 
dice anotar. ¿Se dan cuenta dónde dice anotar? Les aparece una ventana arriba donde dice dibujar. Ustedes le dan clic en dibujar y entonces, exacto, ustedes me pueden ayudar a tachar, así como está haciendo Adrián. ¿Ok? Van a tachar a todos los niños. ¿Por qué? Mi personaje es una niña. Excellent. Good. Ajá. Another question. Otra pregunta. ¿Quién quiere hacerme la siguiente pregunta? Do I have a volunteer? Yo. Go ahead, please. Uh, is she wearing uh, pink sunglasses? No, she is no. not wearing pink sunglasses. Okay. Ajá, entonces, ¿a quiénes vamos a tachar? Exacto, Adri. Exacto. Ajá. Another question. Yo, teacher. Go ahead, please. Is her hair pink? Yes. Her hair is pink. It's Evelyn. No, she is not Evelyn. She is not Jenny. Evelyn. Yes, exactly. It is Jenny. Great. Entonces, Karen adivinó mi personaje y era Jenny. Ahora, Karen va a escoger su personaje. Y nosotros le vamos a hacer preguntas para adivinar cuál es el personaje de Karen. ¿Ok? Excellent. Okay, Karen, are you ready with your character? No, allow me one minute. One no. second. Okay. You tell me when you are ready, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Excellent. So let's start. Caro, one question for Karen, please. Mm -hmm. It is a girl or a man? Yes, it's a girl. It's a girl. Okay, ayúdenme a tachar ahí, por favor. It's a girl. Aha, uh -huh. another question. Let's see. Um, Carla Raquel, another question for Jenny, please. For Jenny. <laughs> for Karen, sorry. <laughs> Okay, teacher. Um, is he mm, is he is she perdón eh, eh, how do you say bueno no no sé qué es lo que tiene Samantha ¿Es como una pañueleta o es Podemos un... decir que es un hat. Hat. Ah, ah va. Yes. Is she wearing a hat green? A green No, hat. she's not. She is not. Not. Ok, entonces tachamos a Samantha. Ajá. Another question. Jenny, can you ask Karen another question, please? Your microphone, Jenny. <laughs> El micrófono está apagado. Oh, Excellent. Es que no me encuentro. Um, is she... Um, no sé cómo se dice eso que tiene aquí... Buba? De colores. Bandana. Bandana. Is, um, sería, is she wear, wearing? Man, wearing bandana? Uh -huh. Is she wearing no, a bandana? Is she wearing bandana? No, she is not. No, she is not. Entonces, we delete Buba. Excellent. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Another question. Let me see. Adrian, can you ask Karen another question, please? Is she wearing uh, sunglasses pink? Is she wearing pink sunglasses? Yes, she is. Aha. So then, ¿quién es el personaje? Ah, ah no, no, no. We, we have two more characters, right? So we delete this, this, and this. Is she Rita? Yes, she is. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, good job. She's Rita. Excelente. Entonces, Adrián ganó. Adrián, escoja su personaje, porfa. Y nosotros adivinamos. ¿Ok? Go ahead. ¿Ya? Yes. Yes. Ok. So, let's start. Adri, can you ask Adrián one question, please? Is boy or girl? It's boy. It's boy. Okay. So let's delete girls. Tachemos a las chicas. Okay. Okay, only that. Another question. Let's see. Rosa Elba, can you ask Adriana another question, please? Um is he on glasses? Aha. Uh -huh. Is she or he wearing glasses? One more time, Rosalba. Is he wearing wearing glasses? Glasses. Exactly. One more time. Is he wearing glasses? Is he wearing glasses? Excellent. Not wearing. No, he is not. Okay, so we delete. Paul. Anthony. No, sé ya, otra vez. no yes, yes, you see? The teacher is crazy today, right? Oh my God. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Tiene glass or no? Imagine. <laughs> Sharp. So sorry for that. I am in another world today. So let's see. Another person. Andreina, can you ask Adrian another question, please? Is he a yellow hair? Yes. Yes. Yellow hair. Okay, so we delete this. We delete this. This and that. Exactly. Okay. Good question. Let's see. Who else? Nancy, can you ask Adrian another question, please? Yo creo que él es Rick. <laughs> Rick. Are you Rick? No. No. no, he is not Rick. Okay. Let's see who else. Sulema, can you ask Adrian one question, please? Yeah. Uh, Seria is wearing a black suit. Suit? Suit. Uh huh, Adrian. Um, repeat, please. Yes. Is he wearing a black suit? No. No. Okay. This is difficult. Aha. Uh -huh. Another person. Let's see. Lisandro, can you ask Adrian another question? Uh, <clears throat> Adrian, is he... Wearing a mustache. Uh -huh, Adrian. Um, ¿qué fue, en español, ¿qué significa el último que dijo Lisandro? Es, no, no, Bigote. Bigote. Yes. yes. 
Ah, ya sé quién es. Ajá, Lisandro. ¿Quién es? Eyman. Exactly. Good job. Excellent. Ok. So, ¿quieren seguir jugando o pasamos a otra cosa? ¿Una persona más? ¿O hasta ahí nos quedamos? Ustedes deciden. ¿Hasta ahí? Yes. Una, una, una más. más. Una más. Oh. Ok. ¿Quién quiere escoger ahora? ¿A quién le vamos a preguntar? ¿Do I have a volunteer or not? Yes, I want. Yes, ok. Thank you, Andreina. <laughs> eh. Choose a person, ok? Escoja una persona. Ok. Mm. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Ok. So let's start. Yeah. Carla Raquel, you start, please. Ok, teacher. Quiero um, ver. Is he or she? Is she? Is she? Ok, let's delete boys. Let's delete boys. Thank you so much, Adriana. Thank you so much, Karen and Adriana. Okay. Let's see. Another question. Karen, can you ask another question? Is she wearing a pink glasses? No, she's not. No, she's not. She's not wearing pink glasses. Ajá. Si no está ocupando pink glasses. Exactly. Excellent. Thank you so much. Another person. Let's see. Adri, can you ask one more question, please? Um... Her hair is pink? No, no, she's not. No. Okay. So we delete Jenny and Evelyn. Let's see another question. Caro, can you ask one more question, please? Is she wearing green hat? No, she's not. No? Okay, <laughs> difficult. No. Okay, let's see another question. Adrian, please. No sé, pero quiero irme directamente por el personaje. Uh -huh. um, she, um, she person is Chantal. Uh -huh. No. No, no Chantal. Okay. <laughs> Let's see yes. another one. Uh huh. She's wearing bandana. Uh huh. She's wearing yeah. bandana. Yes. Booba. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> you are booba. Excellent. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we are going to move on into another activity. Thank you so much. Vamos a darle una repasadita a los adjetivos, pero ahora les voy a enseñar lo contrario, ¿ok? Voy a darles el adjetivo, for example, careful and careless, ¿ok? Careful, ¿qué significa careful? Cuidadoso, ¿ok? And the opposite will be, ¿cuál sería el opuesto de cuidadoso? Careless. Careless, exactly. It will be careless, sin cuidado, right? O descuidado. Aha, uh -huh. we have the adjective fat, and the opposite will be thin. ¿Saben qué significa eso? Delgado. delgado. Exactly, delgado. Then we have the other adjective, friendly and 
unfriendly. That is going to be the opposite. Okay. Another one. Funny and serious. Funny and serious. Okay. Another one. Happy. And then we have sad. That is going to be another opposite. Let's go into another one. We have healthy. ¿Saben qué significa healthy? Saludable. saludable. Exactly. Healthy is saludable. And then the opposite will be? Enfermo. Enfermo. Exactly. Enfermo. Then we have lazy. ¿Qué es lazy? Perezoso o aragán. Exactly. Perezoso o aragán. That is the thing. And then the opposite will be hardworking. ¿Qué significa hardworking? Trabajo duro o trabajador. Ajá, trabajador, exactly. Trabajador, great. Then we have old and young, right? We have old and young. Then another one, polite. What is polite? Who knows? ¿Quién sabe? Cortés. Mamá. Yes. Educado. Cortés, educado. educado. Exactly. And then the opposite will be impolite. What is the meaning of impolite? Like mal educado, I think. Exactly. Yes. Mal educado. For example, when you go in the street, right? And you say, buenos días, niña Marta. Y la niña Marta no contesta, right? She is impolite. Mal educada, right? Exactly. Another adjective. We have here rich. And we have poor. Like the teacher, right? Poor. Sadly. <laughs> yes. Poor. Okay, we don't have problems with that. Let's continue with another one. Shy. What is shy? Timido. Aha, uh -huh. timido. It will be timido. And outgoing? What is outgoing? You don't know? I'm extrovertido. Exactly. Extrovertido. Extrovertido. Excellent. Then we have a smart. Okay, smart, and then we have a stupid. This is not something good, right? But I want you to know. <laughs> exactly, we have a smart and then a stupid. Then we have a special. What is a special? Especial. Especial, exactly. For example, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, right? A friend that you love. And then we have ordinary. That is going to be the opposite, okay? It is not special. It is, you, you know already the meaning of it, right? Then we have strong, okay? Strong. And the opposite, exactly. The opposite will be weak. Debbie. Weak. Devil, exactly. Devil. And for sure that you know, we have tall and then short the opposites okay so guys until now do you have any question or any doubt about adjectives and opposites teacher rich y poor ¿qué dijo que era? rich adinerado right rico and then we have poor Okay, pobre, like me. Excellent. No more questions about it? El significado, la pronunciación? No, teacher? No, okay. So we are going to have a key. No, teacher. Excellent. Uh -huh. eh, Permítame, el opuesto de strong, ¿cómo strong? se pronuncia? Uh -huh. Weak. Weak. 
week. Como, como semana. <risa> Algo así. Ah, Solo okay. que para decir semana, hacemos más larga la I. Week. Ah, yeah. Y aquí es week. 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 Ajá. Ah, Esa es la okay. diferencia. Gracias. Entre, de nada, entre semana, decimos week. Hacemos más larga esa I. Week. Y el otro que sería débil, solo lo hacemos cortito. Week. ¿Ok? That will be the difference. Excellent. Good question, Sulema. I like it. Now, let's see. Here we have five sentences. ¿Ok? Five sentences. Look at it. Are you a lazy person? No. In fact, I am. ¿Cuál es el contrario de lazy? ¿Alguien se recuerda? Hard, hard work. Exactly. Hard working. Amazing. Excellent. Number two. He should play basketball. Because he is tall. 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 Exactly. He is not short. Another one. My sister isn't very she shy and doesn't like to meet new people outgoing exactly yes it will be out going right outgoing outgoing it will be in that way excellent outgoing significa como extrovertido, right? Que le gusta hablar, hacer amigos y no tiene problemas al respecto. Excellent. Let's see number four. He worked very hard his whole life and saved lots of money. Of money. In this case, he is what? Old. Yes, we can say that he is old. But what else? If I have a lot of money, I am rich. rich. Exactly. Rich. ¿Qué significa esto? Todo esto que dice aquí, él trabajó muy duro o arduamente toda su vida y guardó o ahorró bastante dinero. ¿Ok? Él es... Podemos decir mayor y rico, like a sugar daddy, right? Uh -huh. Exactly, like a sugar daddy. And then number five, I went on a diet last year. I lost five kilograms. So now I am what? Healthy. Yes, Farm. exactly. Farm. It can be healthy. ¿Qué más puede ser aparte de healthy? Thin. Thin, exactly. Exactly. ¿Qué quiere decir todo esto que acabo de leer? Él estuvo en una dieta el año pasado, ¿ok? Y perdió 5 kilogramos. Entonces, ahora, bueno, sería yo soy saludable y también delgada. Excellent. Let's see this one. I have another activity for you right now. It's going to be this one. Aquí, pueden ver en la cajita. Hay two, four, six, eight. Eight adjectives. Entonces, vamos a colocar el adjetivo acorde a la descripción que nos dan. La número uno, ¿quién me puede ayudar? Zulema, can you read number one, please? Leo la oración. Yes, Eso. please. A ver. An adjective to describe, describe someone who makes people laugh. Exactly. An adjective to describe someone describe who makes, makes people laugh. Laugh. Uh -huh. Guys, en general, no solo su lema. ¿Cuál puede ser el adjetivo? Funny teacher. Yes, it can be funny, exactly. Funny, excellent. Give me a second. Excellent, there you go. Then, let's see another one. 
Uh, who can help me reading number two? Alguien que me ayude leyendo la número dos? Yep. Yes, go ahead. An adjective to describe someone who doesn't talk much. Uh, the, adjective, the, the adjective is quiet. Exactly, yes. It is going to be quiet. Excellent. Let's see another one. Number three, who can help me reading number three? Leyendo la número uh, tres. Yo. Yes, go ahead, please. An um, adjective to describe some, someone, some, someone who, who has their daytime okay. or money. Uh -huh. Someone who gives. Someone who gives. Who, gi who gives. Who gives their time or their money. Their time or her money. Their money. Exactly. Aha. Uh -huh. Generous. Una... Generous. Generous. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He will be a generous person, right? Alguien de aquí es generoso? Or you are codo, como decimos en español. Huh? Are you a codo person, right? Or not? No. No? No, you are generous, right? ¿Saben yes. cómo se dice tacaño en inglés? No. Tacaño, podemos decirlo, mean. Ok. The teacher is a mean person, right? Es tacaña la teacher. No se saca ni para el churro, right? Exactly, a mean person. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Number four. Who can help me reading number four? Do I have a volunteer or do I have to choose to read number four? Okay, thank you, Zulema. You want to participate? Uh, for, yeah, an adjective to describe someone who is unkind and doesn't like people. Exactly. Unkind. Okay? Unkind. ¿Saben qué significa? Exactly. ¿Saben qué significa kind? Esa palabra que les voy a mandar en el chat. Kind. Significa amable. Ok. Amable. Hay una canción, no sé si a ustedes les gusta Harry Styles o si se lo pueden. Hay una canción que se llama Treat People with Kindness. Traten a las personas con amabilidad, right? Entonces, amable, el adjetivo es kind. Y amabilidad, decimos kindness. Ok, kindness. Entonces, unkind is the opposite. ¿Cuál sería lo opuesto, el significado de unkind? Unfriendly. unfriendly. Yes, it could be unfriendly, exactly. Exactly, good, good job. Oops, let me see, I will type unfriendly. Unfriendly, excellent. Oops. Let's see, number five. Carla Raquel, please, can you read number five? Okay. An adjective to describe someone who lies, cheats, or steals. Mm -hmm. um, and you have it? Uh -huh. this, this honest? Exactly, dishonest. Dishonest. Sería una persona deshonesta. Alguien que miente, miren la, la, el adjetivo mentir, el adjetivo, el verbo mentir, lo decimos lie. Ok. Sheets. Sheets significa copiar o engañar. Ok. Y steals, steals. Well, in this case, it's going to be steal, significa robar. Ok, robar. Excellent. Let's see, number six. Caro, can you read number six, please? An adjective to describe someone who is comfort, 
confortable. ¿Cómo, perdón? Comfortable. 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 In social situation. Ajá. Confident, confident. Yes, it's going to be confident. Exactly. Confident. It can be confident, exactly. Let's see. Um, number seven. Lisandro, can you read number seven, please? Boy, teacher. Uh, an adjective to describe someone who has good manners and behavior. Behavior. Yes, behavior. ¿Saben qué significa behavior? Significa comportamiento. Alguien que tiene buenos modales y buen comportamiento, ¿ok? Modales significa manners, ¿ok? Así decimos modales en inglés. Someone who has good manners and behavior. And behavior. Yeah, yes, polite. Exactly. It's going to be polite. Polite. Polite, exactly. Good. Excellent. Let's see. Number eight is going to be for, for let me see, Rosa Elba, please. Number eight, Serena. Yes. Um, objective to describe someone who put a lot of uh, it's fraud into their work. Okay, we say it effort. Okay, effort. Effort. Exactly. Okay, guys, an adjective to describe someone who puts a lot of effort into their work. ¿Cuál sería el adjetivo? Hard work. Hard work. Exactly. Hard working. Perfect. So, guys, we have finished with this activity. With this activity. Preguntas hasta el momento con alguna palabra nueva que vean aquí o alguna pronunciación que ustedes no sepan. ¿Qué significa? Por... Yes. Ok. Yes, Andreina. Eh, ¿Qué significa effort? Significa esfuerzo. Esfuerzo. Yes, Zulema. You were... Lo mismo iba a preguntar. Ay, ok. You are connected. Put, ¿qué es, teacher? ¿Cómo? Put. Put. Ah, esta palabra, put. ¿Qué put. pone? Poner. El es el verbo poner. Put. Que pone mucho esfuerzo en su trabajo. Ok. Another word or pronunciation, guys. Teacher, podría repetir la de las, la última parte de las siete. De las siete. Ok. Uh, who has good manners and behavior? Behavior. Behavior. Ok. Behavior. That is the pronunciation. Excellent. Another question? Yes? No? No. No more questions. Ok. So let's move on into one more activity. This is going to be? Teacher. Yes? En la cinco. ¿Qué dijo que era? Shirts or sheets? Sheets. El verbo sheet. en su manera natural sería sheet. Ahí está conjugado. Okay. El verbo sería sheet. Significa engañar o copiar. Okay. Engañar o copiar. Pero copiar no es así como de que voy a pasar el texto que está aquí ahorita, como ustedes que están copiando. No. Copiar en un examen. Hacer trampa. Okay. Porque copiar, como ahorita ustedes, digamos, están copiando lo que ven en la pantalla, se dice copy. Copy. Esa es la diferencia. 
en tres a dos. Uno es hacer trampa y el otro sí es copiar. Ok, another question about it. Another one, please. No more questions. No. Ok, so let's move on into the last activity. It's going to be a writing and then you are going to speak. Ok. Este, uy, voy a borrar esto, perdón. Es este pequeñito párrafo que ven aquí, que ustedes van a rellenar con su información. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, aquí van a escribir adjetivos comparando su personalidad con la de un amigo, algún miembro de su familia o la persona que ustedes quieran. ¿Ok? Vamos a llenarlo. Lo voy a llenar yo con mi información para que tengan una idea de cómo es. Por ejemplo, my sister is short and beautiful, for example. Quiero que es, ocupen adjetivos. My sister is short and beautiful. She isn't angry. Ella no es enojada. Angry or furious. Angry or furious. Her best quality is that she is very polite. Okay. Our personalities are sometimes similar because we are both funny, for example. However, we are different. Because I am talkative and she is quiet. Ok. ¿Se dan cuenta? Lo llené todo con adjetivos. ¿Qué significa todo el párrafo junto? Mi hermana es pequeña y bonita. Ella no es enojada o furiosa. Su mejor cualidad es que es muy educada. Nuestras personalidades son a veces similares porque las dos somos divertidas. Sin embargo, este however, uy, perdón, significa sin embargo. Sin embargo, we are different, somos diferentes porque yo soy hablantina y ella es callada. ¿Ok? Entonces, les voy a dar tres minutos, creo que es suficiente, para que me rellenen el párrafo con adjetivos describiéndose ustedes y comparándolo con algún familiar o algún amigo. ¿Ok? Great. ¿Ok? So, you will have three minutes to do so. Only three minutes. So, go ahead, please. Only three minutes. Did you finish, Adriana? No, ah, okay. <laughs>
You have only one more minute, okay? Okay, you are missing 10 seconds. All right. That's it. Terminaron? Or do you need more time? Quieren más tiempo? Or not? Yes. Yes. Okay, I will give you one minute more. Okay? Excellent. Go Thank ahead. You. Yeah. Eh, eso se lo vamos a enviar o solo lo vamos a leer cuando ya lo tengamos aquí lo completado. Vamos yes, lo vamos okay. a leer ahorita, ¿okay? ¿ok? Justo ahorita se acaban de cumplir los el tiempo. ¿Terminaron? Jenny terminó. Yes. yes. El rest, the rest of the people. Yes. No. More time. Yes. 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 Okay. Excellent. So, do I have a volunteer to start with this or not? So, uh -huh. A volunteer or not volunteer? A chosen volunteer. Um, intentaré yo. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Jenny. Um, my sister is talk um, and think. Um, he is in... Um, un friendly, no me recuerdo qué significaba. No me recuerdo. Que no es amigable. Oh, ok. <ríe> um, or angry. 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 Is ah. her best quality is, is that. Sí. Um, bueno, lo demás parte no lo logro ver porque me tapa la la donde salimos todos pero creo que es hype is that hype mm. is that ok aquí se lo voy a mandar ah, es que me, me cubre la, la pantalla de that she oh, is la voy a mover very ah, is that is very is that uh, she is very uh -huh. king is kind? very king uh, kind, kind? Our personality, our sometimes, our sometimes, sometimes, similar. sometimes similar because we are, but both, both outgoing, outgoing. Uh huh. However, however, we are, however, we are different because I. Eh, no, era quiet. Quiet. In, in, uh -huh, quiet. Uh -huh. Is and it is talkative. Talkative. Excellent. Good. 
Thank you so much. Solo una cosa, chicos. Cuando ven aquí, tenemos dos opciones. He or she. Ahí ustedes lo van a cambiar, no es que van a decirle a todos. Pongo he or okay. she porque si no sé si van a hablar de una niña o de un niño, ¿ok? Entonces, okay. en el caso que yo hablé de, un, de mi hermana, que es mujer, sería mm. she. En todo lo cambiaría por her, por she y por she, ¿ok? Excellent. Mm. Thank you so much, Jenny. Let's see another person. Mm. We have right here, Angel, please. Okay, teacher. Um, my brother is tall and serious. Uh, he he is um, talkative or funny. His best quality is that he is very polite. Our personalities are sometimes similar because we are both uh, kind. However, we are different because um funny and he is shy excellent good job angel thank you so much that was so cool let's see now adri can you go please and my sister is tall and pretty she isn't talkative or angry her best quality is that she is very honest our personalities are something similar because we are both funny. However, we are different because I'm crazy and she is Facebook. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. That was so cool. Great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, Sulema, can you go, please? Okay. This is uh, um, my best friend, Claudia, is tall and thin. She isn't angry or sad. Her best quality is that that is she is very generous. Our personalities are sometimes similar because we are both funny. However, we are different because I'm quiet and she is talkative. Excellent. Okay, good paragraph. Thank you so much. That was so great. Let's see now, Andreina, can you please? Uh, my brother is tall and small. He isn't serious or angry. His best quality is that he is very generous. Our personalities are sometimes similar because we are both careful. However, we are different because I'm shy and he is outgoing. Excellent. Thank you so much, Andreina. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Let's see. Caro, can you please? My coaching is intelligent and handsome. He isn't lazy or sleepy. His best quality is that he is very friendly. Our personalities are sometimes similar because we are both friendly. However, we are different because I, I fight and he is outgoing. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carol. That was so great. Let's see, Rosa Elba, please. Go ahead. Uh, my brother is tall and thin. He isn't funny or friendly. His best quality is that he is very mean. <laughs> Our personality are sometimes similar because we are both funny. How, how we were? However, however, we are different because I am young. And he's old. <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> I like the last part. Excellent. Thank you so much, Rosa Elba. Let's see another person. Nancy, please. Uh, my sister is tall and beautiful. She's happy or I 
hungry. Uh, his best quality is that she is very friendly. Uh, Our personality are are some sometimes sometimes similar because where are both funny. Uh, however, 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 <laughs> however, uh, where are different because in angry. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank and you so she's uh -huh. uh, friendly. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Nancy. Let's see, Adrian, can you please? Not toy. I can see you here. Go ahead. Um, my brother is short and thin. Uh -huh. Um, he's an um yeah for example he's an angry uh -huh. or furious uh -huh. um his best quality is that he is smart or personalities are sometimes similar because we are both 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 funny Um, however, uh -huh. we are different because I am lazy and polite. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Adrian. Let's see, we are missing Karen, please. My mom is short and beautiful. She isn't serious or bored. Her best quality is that she is very friendly. Our personalities are sometimes similar because we are both funny. However, we are different because I am shy sometimes and she is talkative. Excellent. Thank you so much, Karen. Good pronunciation. Let's see. I think that I am missing Carla Raquel, right? Okay. okay. Uh, my son is special and friendly. He is in quiet or shy. Her best qual quality is that he is very happy. Or personalities are sometimes similar because we are both friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever. However, however, we are different because I'm quiet. And he is talkative. Excellent. You see, I am surprised because you look so young. I I didn't know that you have a kid. Excellent. You I have, have two. two. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Excellent. You look so young. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> guys. I think that we have finished with that. But I want you to tell you something. Let's be careful with the pronunciation of certain words. Tengamos cuidado con la pronunciación de ciertas palabras. A veces escuché yo que ustedes querían decir angry, que es enojado, y terminaron diciendo hungry. ¿Ok? Hay diferencia. Angry y hungry. Angry significa enojado. Y hungry, hambriento. ¿Ok? Una diferencia. Hungry y Angry. ¿Se dan cuenta? Esta, hambriento, empezamos como con J. Hungry. ¿Ok? Otra diferencia. Querían decir tall y terminaban diciendo talk. ¿Ok? Le agregaban ese K al final. Entonces, la diferencia es tall, terminamos con la L, tall, y después talk. ¿Se dan cuenta aquí? Yo no menciono la L. Solo digo talk. Este es alto y esto es hablar. Otra diferencia. Escuché yo que querían decir thin, delgado, y decían think. ¿Ok? Uno es delgado, exacto, y el otro es pensar. Esa es una diferencia, ¿ok? So, let's be careful with that. 
I think, guys, that that will be all for today, all for this level. So I appreciate so much to have you here. Thanks for being my students. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Okay? So that was it. Thank you for being here. Hope to see you around. Okay? Bye-bye. Gracias, teacher, por todo. Thank you, too. Teacher, gracias. Gracias. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Gracias, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Yeah. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Teacher. Bye, Jenny. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Yes. Yo me quedé con una duda, yes. porque yo quería decir que es como dormilón o soñoliento, pero no sé si lo dije correcto, porque yo dije es sleepy, sí. pero no sé si, si así está bien. Sí, así se dice. Ah, ok. Exacto, sí, sleepy. Excellent. Sleepy, gracias. You're welcome. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Jenny.